first, I thought I was hearing things, like planes flying or whatever it was. I thought it was thunder. I'm thinking, nah, can't be thunder. Well, it's thunder. <laughs> well, this could be interesting. I wonder if it's coming my way. Well, there's nothing over the top of Jefferson. Get over here around this corner, I might be able to get a better look, see what's going on over there. Maybe it's just, I don't know what they call that, dry lightning or something like that. Hell, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, she got black. Hmm, a little rain would be okay though. It's hotter as shit right here. I am somewhere in the middle of Mount Jefferson, it's up here. And the storm that's chasing me is now bringing in some wind. Kind of curious if I'm gonna get rained on. She's black back there, still thunder, thundering like crazy. I don't know if you can hear that. Just one after the other. So, pretty cool. Something to listen to, you know. You said not getting wet yet. I am currently for today in mileage. Oh, I think it was around 22 miles right now. There's still quite a bit of daylight left. Feet are starting to hurt. But there's no campsites up here. <laughs> it's just on a steep bank, so I gotta keep going no matter what. So it starts to sprinkle as I come to the spot. Look at that. <laughs> the reason I stopped here, see this all cleared out? Oh, my head. Yeah. It's all clear. And look down here. My guess is it was a landslide, or not land, but glacier slide, avalanche, whatever you want to call it. Took all those trees out, all the way down around the corner. Pretty impressive. Well, I just got a few sprinkles on me. Like I said, the wind is starting to blow. We'll see what happens. Just wanted to show you this section of ground here where all these trees are mowed down. I mean, they go way down there. I bet they go all the way down to that lake. glimpse of Mount Hood. I'm at 50, 52, 54 miles in now. This is the third day.
morning. It is 7.30 a.m. The last day of my section hike. Today I will be completing 102 miles of this hike with an additional five miles that I had to put on because I had to go back and get my charging cable for my phone from Denny. Thank you for bringing it back. And thanks for, thank God I had, I had cell service. She had. But, it's been a pretty incredible hike. The views of three finger jack. Amazing. Mount Jefferson. Jefferson Park. Amazing. The rest of it after Olali Lake has been in September and pretty flat. Stuff on the other side is pretty rough. Got one blister that's been haunting me for a couple days, but. After about 100 yards or so, your feet become numb and you don't feel any pain anymore. It's kind of weird. I do have one numb toe, my right foot. It's kind of weird. But I don't blame them. I'd be numb too if there's put that many miles on me. So, it's a nice day. About 12 miles to go. Currently at Timothy Lake. It's down there. So, well, see you at the end. So I came across this in the middle of the trail. Seriously, people, if you pack it in, pack it out, that's why there's such a big problem within section E and F with people leaving their freaking trash or not burying their poop or digging the rats as cat hole. Really? Keeper of the water hole. It's all right if I get some water here, buddy. So I picked something up at Trailmark today. Literally picked something up. A thermal flask. Not sure I would ever pick one up at your REI or whatever, but price is right. Whoever dropped it. Well, sorry. You should have attached it a little better. Hopefully it's good. And it keeps stuff either hot or nice and cold. Looks like it's pretty well built. So that's my review on my brand new thermal flask. 
from Trailmark. Mount Hood. Well, I just passed a sign that said Bargo Pass. Six miles. I haven't checked gut hook lately, but if I'm not mistaken, from Highway 26 to Bargo Pass is five miles. So I may be down to one mile left. So according to Gut Hook, that's an app for hiking the PCT, for all of you that didn't know. 102 miles behind me, I started my hike. This hike, it was five days. And now I have reached Highway 26. Frog Lake intersection. The, uh, this hike has been amazing and it's so un, so surreal I guess. I feel myself here at the finish line. that highway and I will have completed section E, F, and G for a total of 240 miles. Not bad for an old part of 52 years old. Put in some big miles to do it. Big miles. So I'm going to get across the highway see if I beat uh, Denny to the campsite. I think she was able to check in at 12 o'clock. And I think it is... Huh, it's 11.15. Anyways, maybe I'll sit down and have some good lunch. This is it. We're done. So after walking 102 miles, I thought I'd have a welcoming party. Well, I don't see anybody. Hmm. Looks like they all went down to the lake. Would be my guess. No dogs. Dogs are gone. Yep. Nobody's here. Hmm, only me. Well, I don't really feel like walking anymore right now. I'm going to sit down and have some lunch. Hmm.